All right, and welcome back to another episode of Mind Test Gameplay of Sorts. And today we are looking at the Polygyana Texture Pack. Polygania HD Texture Pack by Low Crates. Let's go. And if you like what you see here, please consider liking and subscribing. It boosts my ego. Thank you. All right. So uh, real quickly, Polyguyana HD Texture Pack from Low Crates. And look at this. This is very nice. Brick, uh, chess. Here's a full picture or screenshot of everything that it uh, supports. And it partially supports modifications. It supports the Mind Test game 4.16. 0.4.16, more ores, more blocks, and Technic. And it comes in 64, 128, 256, and 512 resolutions. So a link to this will be in the uh, show description. Yeah, we are playing with the 256 um, pixel resolution. And here's wool and signs. That looks really, really sharp. Um, now, my concrete is gone because uh, that's in my texture pack. However, what's really cool and why we're back at the factory is the machines. So we are going to go down and look at the machines real quick. And I cleaned up my uh, scaffolding here. Here is the supply or switching station. Nice. Battery boxes. These are the high voltage battery boxes. Here are the mid, uh, medium voltage battery boxes. Look at the bars. That is sharp. I'm liking that. Um, the glass doors. The chests. Turned out really cool. This is a iron door or a steel door. Very nice. Come down here. And this is the uh, grinder and the furnace. So if we come in here real quickly and we get a lump of something, doesn't matter. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? Gold lump. If you're going to do something, you might as well do it big. And we are going to put. A bunch in here and watch this it closes turns on the light and when it goes in the furnace the furnace turns on very cool and it's done very nice very clean i like the uh the bold textures here's the centrifuge here's the compressor extractor uh, the gold chest and the uh, workshop, tool workshop. So that all looks really cool. Very nice. Look at the look at the um, wrought iron plate. Cool. These doors are very nice, nice and crisp. I am a stickler for doors. Um, this is cottages glass, which is not supported. So that would have to be changed out or use something else. There's clean glass. Look at the sun. Cool. Look at the rays. And the moon has craters, which I'll show you in a second. This is the, uh, stone. Very, very cool looking. We're going to go down into the. I'm in the parking. We need to go down to the train lobby. And there's the um, texture in the bricks. And I forgot, these were the original textures for um, the bathroom stuff from home decor. Look at the flowers. <laughs> that is cool. Very cool. White dandelions. Okay. So let's go up and take a look at some of the, um, 
Yeah, those those doors are from a different resolution. Now in Vanessa E's texture pack, uh, those doors look different. So let's come out here and go back to daytime. And take a look at the default wood. Now this is Aspen. Look at these flowers, the roses. Cool. This is jungle wood, default wood. You have uh, wheat, the cotton, and papyrus. Now, I'm not a, a huge fan of the water, but texture packs are are going to be subjective. Just look at the look at the grass, and we have the default dirt with grass. Very nice. Different flowers. Look at what it did to my little statues, because that's the uh, stainless steel block. That is that is really cool. Um, there's the uh, Technic Marble. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the cobblestone. Um, it looks good. But it, it looks a little bit too uh, busy for me. But I love the machines. The cob Now, like I said, it's all subjective. The cobblestone is good. But just not for my my taste. Uh, the chests are really sharp. Look at the ingots. That's very very nice. And here's default wood from default tree. So we are going to go over to another part. Look at that. There's a snow. And I'm going to show some, some more of the trees. Oh, the acacia tree. I like that. So basically, any, you know, for the, for the texture packs, like I said, it's all going to be subjective of a person's taste and how much detail they want. Where uh, Vanessa E's uh, HDX texture pack are photorealistic, where this is, it's not cartoony, but it's not over the top. And it, it, it's a, a, a lot higher than um, the standard mind test default textures. Like here's stone. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pause and go over to another section. And we'll be right back. Okay. And we're back with the magic of editing and imagination. Yeah. So uh, this is the technique. Um, blast resistant concrete and yeah it, I would have to change that but that's the original color of it it's nice but not for my house so look at these trees trees are very very nice now a lot of them uh, any ones of the from the default texture pack changed and I'll show that the uh, the pine tree. Um, I'm not a real fan of the color of the water, but it's nice. I I just I love the um, the boldness. Like here's a here's the default jungle trees, which let me get out of the trees here because what would one of my videos be without flying through trees? There we go. I'm going to show off some of the woods and stuff like that. That is very cool. So let's go look at some of the woods. And come down here where it's a little sandy. So we have... Um, let's see. There's uh, from the default pack. Wooden planks, acacia, aspen, pine... Jungle wood, and I think birch is in here somewhere. I don't think those were updated. That's different. Birch tree trunk, uh, all the all the leaves. So that is sharp. That's acacia. 
And we have default wood. Very cool. Pine, aspen, jungle wood. Those right there. And I'm in the 256 texture. And I don't think, yeah, that's the original. So you can tell the difference between the original default and the upgraded textures from the texture pack. And we got that cool light. That is sharp. So what else do we have here? Let's get some, let's get some stone. And we have, yeah, I would, I should have <laughs> got this. Um, yeah, stone, stone block. And I'm not really, uh, there's a couple things that I, that I'm not a fan of. There's sandstone, brick. Uh, this is silver sand, sand stone, regular stone, stone block, which is real nice. Very cool. And we're going to go take a look at the desert. Look at the, uh, the break animation. That's real cool. So the, like I said, it, it, it's all subjective. The, the screwdriver is awesome. The tools, uh, shovels and stuff like that are all done. The grasses. So what you can do is you can do like me and take, um, stuff from different texture packs and put it in one or you can just play look at there's the cactus these are all all very very nice very sharp now that that's what i do is i take different textures look at there's the forest soils which i'm a huge huge fan of as a matter of fact go over and see um as we fly through here the the house that i purposely set up with the uh left the left it alone the forest that is really really sharp so i'm a huge fan of vanessa e's forest soils these forest soils are also very very good and compressed cobblestone. Obviously, my roads did not um, <laughs> did not turn out okay. So what we were going to do is real quickly take a look at the castle because there are certain things that did not um, turn out to liking. But whenever you build in a texture pack, obviously it's going to be it's going to be different. So if this house, if I were to build this house now, I would have used something different or a darker, star, a darker uh, sandstone. But this is how my house looks with the stand, sandstone blocks and sandstone bricks. And here's the uh, desert sandstone. So that turned out cool. There's, um, I, I kind of like the default stone, but that's passable. And my spruce boards I like better. So these are from more trees. So they were not um, updated. But if we go look at, like look at those leaves. Those are very nice. If we go look at my castle, look at that sun. Cool. That looks real busy. So these are... <laughs> Here's the pine tree. Look at the detail on needles of the pine. Very cool. So basically, like I said, it's all subjective. Uh, look what it did to my bunny. Very nice. <laughs> that looks, it looks good. It looks a little too bright. But everything, um, 
you know, if, if you're going to use a texture pack, you're, you're going to compensate for that. I wouldn't have used the same materials that I used in here. Nice tree leaves, uh, default aspen tree. So what I do, like I said, what I do is I, I pick, if you look at episode 37, which is fun with texture packs, I will take bits and pieces from each tech, from my favorite texture packs and balance them in and add them and add them in together to make them look different. Um, this is a great change from playing from the default texture pack. So you can have your world in, you know, in whatever texture that you'd like. Yeah. That's, that's wrought iron, generic metal which I'm using a more higher definition one in my pack. So I've taken, I've already taken a lot of this person's textures and put them into a, uh, into my jumbled up texture pack. And I'm really, really liking that. So uh, there again, there's the key, there's the cactus, there's the dry plants, which are, those look great. The person did a very, very good job. Low crates did a, an extremely well job. Anybody that knows how to do graphics, knows that it is very time consuming. Look at the craters on the moon. Cool. It is very time consuming to do. There's this there's the sun again. Yeah. So and I, I've made a couple textures and I uh, I can attest to that it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to get them just the way that you want. Um, so anybody that can do textures, you know, my hat's off, off to them. And there's a lot in this texture pack, which I am really, really digging. And go from there and you'll see, you'll see in, in more of my builds, uh, that, I, you know, I'll use more and more of them. Here's the biodome. So I am really liking how the gardens and some of the, some of the stuff looks. So it's all, you know, it's all subjective that my, my fountain and my garden here look absolutely cool. So everything will be in the show description, description, all the links. And uh, it, it's lagging a little bit because I'm, like I said, the higher you use resolution, the uh, the more resources it's going to take up. Yes, it will. Yeah, the, see, I'm not I'm not a fan of the light sandstone. But then again, oh well, yeah, let's take a look at at the all the whatever plants came up. But it's very very nicely done, and it's a you know it's a change of pace, and you can. The nice thing about mine test over Minecraft, Minecraft you can also do custom texture packs and it, you know flows HD and there's a lot of other ones that are my favorites. However, the texture packs in mine in mine test, they're just you just rename whatever you want, um, like the wood. I rename uh, several of the spruce wood that was was used in in here. Now these, because these are not mine, they went back to the regular ones. So just have to mix and match and use what you'd like. So um, that's going to do it. If you like, share, like, and uh, subscribe. It would be greatly appreciated. And send screenshots of your builds. You'll be featured. So that'll do it. Everybody stay warm and have a great week. And I'm going to be doing more texture pack reviews. Go from there. So thanks for watching and goodbye.